We're going to pick up on part two of building our biplane with the snow skis. When I left off, I was just taping on our ailerons on from part one. And all I did was used a couple of little pieces of scotch tape to hinge our ailerons. And I already went ahead and built the bot the bottom wing too. It's done the exact same way we built the upper wing. Went ahead and scored the lines on the bottom. Set our dihedral. And we made our airfoil. And this one here I already went and hinged it up. Now I like to all I use for my hinge tape is just clear scotch tape as you can see here and I've never had an aileron or an elevator or anything come off by doing it like that and on the back side I'll usually just take like three pieces of clear scotch tape and do the back let's go ahead and finish up the top wing same way I'm just rushing through this guys and you guys can take your time and make everything really nice make sure your tapes pushed on there really nice and like I said I'll usually just take some clear scotch tape from the back fold it on over to both pieces I'm just gonna do three pieces you guys can do four or five or whatever you guys want to do I'm just using three I really like the way this biplane turned out. It sure does fly nice. Works awesome in the snow. So alright, we got our upper wing hinged. Now the leftover pieces of the plans I had, I went ahead and marked the CG line on the upper wing. This is our top wing, so I just went ahead and marked the CG that's where it's going to be when you're done doing your build. Alright, now we're just going to move on to the main fuselage and airframe here. And as you can see, I already cut out a lot of these pieces. They're all just straight cuts. Except for where your tail hooks on to the back here. You got 45 for your hinge line. Same thing with the elevator. Now with my elevator, you can see how small this piece is here and you know it'll be bending pretty easy so what I do to beef that up is just take, went to a hob, uh, craft shop and got these little half popsicle sticks. Shoot, never even plugged in my hot glue gun. All right, so while we're waiting for that to heat up, I'm gonna move on to these pieces. Here's your uh, canopy, here's your upper wing mount, your lower wing mount. Here's where you cut out for the servo. And it's all on the plans here. You'll see where you gotta make all your cuts, make the cut out. This piece here is all just a straight cut up for the very back where we're going to make our hinge line so I 45 45 degree to inward so that way when we install this we'll 
We'll install our elevator and we'll have some, be able to get our movement on it. Now once you cut out these pieces, they're pretty simple. You just slide them together. Just like so. Pretty simple. we'll be attaching our elevator on here like this here I got our snow skis cut out I'm going to show you how to make these snow skis out of foam board and I'm also going to show you how to how to make them like how I did here and these are just uh, plastic pieces off of like a a bleach empty bleach container my wife had laying around so I'll show you how to make them like this too if you want not in my biplane I just got a cheesy little uh, brushless setup here I didn't want nothing real powerful or nothing I just wanted some nice slow flying but you can take and put like a 450 to a 480 motor on this brushless or even a 400 kind of like the same motor I got here that I got from Grayson Hobby it's the GH 221709 and you get that in a, a little combo kit they sell you get this and four servos 30 amp ESC. Uh, another th new item I've been buying are these lemon receivers and they're uh, DMS2 compatible works with your DX5, your DX7, DX8, whatever you got. And it even has a satellite receiver you can plug into it and they're awesome. You go to lemon.com lemonrx.com and this receiver is only like fourteen dollars compared to what you'd pay for any other receiver. It, I, I love them. They're cheap and they work awesome. But this is a 3D plane I'll be doing plans on pretty soon. Alright, now let's get back to this elevator. So now I just take my popsicle stick. Go ahead and put a good generous amount of hot glue on it. Center it on here. This is going to add some good rigidity to this elevator so it won't twist in that spot. Then usually once I get it on there, I'll go ahead and hit it with some glue all the way around it. Just like that. Let that set up for a second. Now when you slide these two pieces together, you don't have to use no hot glue until once once you slide them together like that. You just want to make sure it's perfectly straight. Normally what I'll do is I'll line it up nice and straight. Just hit it in a couple of spots with some hot glue. Go ahead and line up everything. Eyeball it out towards everything's nice and straight. That glue set up for a second. All 
All right, so I got that all nice and straight. Now you can go ahead and just run a bead of glue connecting all four sides here, which I'm not going to waste my glue doing because I'm not really going to, I'm not going to build this plane to fly. I'm just doing it for the build video. I'll just give you a quick idea what I'm talking about. Like that. Let's go ahead and hit all four sides where they connect. done that I'm gonna go ahead and install this elevator and again I'll just use a couple of pieces of clear tape scotch tape just use two little pieces for now line it up on here set it where I'm gonna want it got our elevator and of course you guys can go back and put some more scotch tape you want to connect this completely but I'm not gonna waste my time with it right now now we can go ahead and install our rudder eyeball it on here so right there as you can see we got our movement for our elevator our rudder Again, go ahead and make sure you clear tape this. And you're going to want to do the same thing we did with the the wings. You want to put some tape on the back side of your hinges. So I would go ahead and run some pieces of tape there and on the bottom side of the elevator. Now this is our bottom wing that I already built. As you can see, I cut out for the servo. I'm not even going to bother installing the servo. I'm just going to show you on mine. You can see where I got the servo set in there. You can see my linkages. I only run one servo for all the aileron movement. And then I just got some control horns on the upper and lower. Wings here. On our ailerons. And I just connect them with a, just a little metal rod there. So that's what that cutout's for. Now what I usually like to do is I'll go ahead, once you install your servo and your control horns, and then you hook it up with your control rods, and you got all that set up, the first thing I install will be the, the bottom wing. And me, I'm just going to eyeball it up. Normally. If you guys are, do, you know, if you guys are doing the build here, I would take like a, a tape measure. 
you know, and before before you go hot gluing anything, and you could measure on both sides to your wing tips to make sure you get the exact same measurement. So everything's perfectly in alignment here. But me, I'm just gonna eyeball it up. Like I said, I'm just doing a simple build video here for you guys. And I'm usually pretty accurate with just eyeballing it. So I'm gonna put a good generous amount of hot glue on here. I'm gonna put a good bead where your wings connect on. Just line it up in the bottom. Run it to the back. Again, I'm just eyeballing this. I'll go ahead and make sure it's straight this way too with my elevator. this for a second let it set up that looks pretty darn good all looks nice and straight Now you guys, I got on the plans where you stick, where you're gonna be mounting your uh, your wing struts, which I already cut out here. I got them on the plans here, the wing strut. Now I got on the plans, I got it marked wing struts with a little line, shows you where they go. But you can also eyeball these on if you want. If you wanna just take a ruler and measure out, I'll usually put them out half half of the wing, so the, we got 14 inches. So I'll just mark a line at seven. Do the same thing on this side. Again, guys, these are just our wing struts going to be mounted just like this so I'm gonna go ahead and mount these on here and of course guys before you go gluing all these pieces together if you guys wanted to go ahead and do your painting I would have painted the the wings already whatever color I'm just making the wing struts line up with the, the body line here. Just try to make sure they're straight up and down. There's one. Let's get the other one on here. Yeah, most of the time, guys, I just eyeball this stuff up. It ain't got to be perfect, but you want it as close to perfect as you can, so. You don't want your plane flying all sideways and stuff. There's our wing struts. And like I said, guys, before you went installing the wing and stuff, you guys could have did all your painting. Like I would have painted the fuselage with the rudder and the elevator already on there. And then I would have painted my wing 
do all your paint scheming first and then you could could have started putting all together like I'm doing now all right now here's our top wing what I do is where the back the wing mount is here you'll see the very back of it that's usually where I line up the back of the wing so that's where that will go let's go ahead and hot glue this on here make sure you center it It's nice and straight with the bottom one. Go ahead and pull these down together a little. that as you can see I got the same shape as the one I got there now what I'll do is just flip this upside down I'll go ahead and line up these wing struts where I'm going to want them all I'm going to do here guys is just put a bead of glue real quick right here Let this one set up. Same thing on here. I'm just going to put a little bead just for now. Go ahead and make sure it's nice and straight. Now you guys could go back and hit the whole thing on both sides. looking at them both make sure they look even go ahead and do the same thing on the other side Yeah, so by the time you hook your wings on the 
the main fuselage here and then you put your wing struts in and then with the uh, airfoil we created with the hot glue everything's pretty strong I don't even use wing spar or carbon fiber rod or anything like that I mean it's pretty pretty strong after all this struts with a little hot glue all the way around them. Make sure you get the hot glue on both pieces of the foam where they're connecting. So there we have everything Assembled and assembly is pretty easy. I know I'm gonna have to do a part three video, so on that I'll show you how to do the uh, attach all your snow skis and everything. These videos are basically just to show you how to assemble the plans. As far as the electronics, that's all pretty self-explanatory. You can see where you got your cutouts for your servos. Then I got the servos on this uh, part of the fuselage that you can move them back or forth depending on what size motor you put on here. You want to keep your CG where the CG line is so you'll be able to move your servos back or forth wherever you want to install them. I'll tell you guys, this sure is one nice flying biplane. And it's good for some, it'd be good, great for some 3D flying because it's so lightweight. And then if you use like a 10 by 5 prop, I mean it covers both upper and lower wing so you get airflow over all your ailerons. You'll get airflow over all four of them. And I plan on putting a more powerful engine on brushless motor on here and making another one so I can do some 3D flying. I just recently started learning how to do 3D. And that's a lot of fun. All right, I'll show you on here how I got some of this stuff hooked up. can see where I got my ailerons elevator rudder you can see where I got my servos installed when I build my planes guys since your propellers spinning counterclockwise your plane tends to want to pull kind of clockwise I guess so I'll install all my speed controller and my receiver and everything 